Hey guys, Creator Mom. I just want to talk today about moving mountains. So I feel like I just got like a deeper understanding about moving mountains. And I know that we generally know that um, moving mountains probably doesn't necessarily mean like a physical mountain. Or, you know, that you can refer it to like problems, you know what I mean? Like moving a mountain, like, you know, sickness, poverty, like these types of mountains. But it's like, <clears throat> we're not moving mountains on the outside of us. We're moving mountains within us because we understand that the um, abundance of life or all of life flows out of our hearts. That, um, that everything is coming from within, that life is flowing out of us, right? So when we're moving mountains, we're moving the mountains of our beliefs um, because you know, it's the gift we're all given of that subconscious mind, Christ within us, that um, that becomes whatever we believe, right? We get to experience what the hell ever we believe. Um, you know, that's why it's like, you know, people don't always get what they want. You know what I'm saying? In a way like, oh, I want that. Oh, I wish I had money. Oh, I wish this and I wish that. You, We have to have the boldness and the nerve the nerve, the balls, to actually be like, no, I am that already. And we have to, um, we have to commit. We have to commit. You know what I'm saying? You got to internally commit. You can't be wishy-washy like, oh, I am rich. But then be like the next second, just be like, oh, I'm so fucking poor. I'm never going to do anything. Where am I ever going to get money from? Blah, 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 blah. It's just like, no, you're not committing you've committed to being poor you've committed to being sick or whatever and i'm not condemning i'm just saying like this is the mountain see that what i'm describing is the that's the mountain that's the mountain that needs to be moved and cast into the sea of forgetfulness so um um but it's okay because like we're learning right so it's like okay you realize like oh shit i just kind of fell back into into stating the opposite of what i desire to be so it's kind of like just growing in your faith from glory to glory, knowing that what you say, you know, that basically we'll eat the fruit of our, of our words, of our tongue, you know? Um, so yeah, the mountain is when you start saying things that you desire to be, I am wealthy, I am wealthy. And you feel that, um, you kind of feel like your ego being like, no, you're not no you're not you're poor as fuck no you're not um you say all right you just kind of keep pressing on you keep pressing forward um not necessarily like fighting it but you just like recognize like yeah that's just my ego um because it's just whatever they say the ego is trying to protect you whatever the ego just operates by the flesh world it's just like oh i don't see that shit no it's not but you know better you know better because you are god you are one with the father um so you know that uh you know what's going on so you kind of just keep hitting that mountain. You just keep hitting it every day until that mountain begins to shift and the naturalness of who you desire to be takes over. It begins to take it begins to take precedence. You are moving that mountain. You're moving it and it's about it is about to go into the sea of forgetfulness. You just keep pressing in. That's it. Just persistence, right? That's why it says perseverance, endurance. He who endures to the end. I do not believe that means like if you, <laughs> oh God, like if you're a Christian until the end, you know, then you won't go to hell. Like that's what we've been told that believes and that instills fear. No, it's like God is the opposite of fear. There is no fear in love. It says that clearly in the Bible. There is no fear in love. Don't, and then people are sitting there pre preaching fear. You're preaching directly against the nature of God. There is no fear in love period so anyways as we persist and as we endure to the end until we see until we realize you know the what we have excuse me until we see what we have been believing hardened into fact you just persist you persevere until you see what you believe hardened into fact knowing knowing that it will harden into fact be committed though you got to be committed you can't just be the double-minded man that's unstable in all his ways let him not think he'll receive anything from the lord 
don't be there's no need to be offended by that statement because there is no lord outside of you watching over you the lord is within you okay you can't receive something from within you if you're not even committed to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, why? Your inner self, or your, it's like you're playing games. Like, your inner self knows you ain't serious about it. You know what I'm saying? It knows that you're not committed to the idea. So just be, and it's, it's, easy, it's actually quite easy because it's not like we have to force the outer world to change. We don't have to force the outer world to change. Thank God, right? Because that um that is working that is the sweat of your brow that is the curse to think that you have to force the outer world to mm, 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 you know what i'm saying so we have to do that on the inside we're we are we're basically forcing we're committing to the idea we're committing to our desires internally and we're gonna we're gonna bring it forth okay not by power not by might but by my spirit says the lord okay by the spirit so um I'm not saying you have to be in your meditation like uh, like groveling. No, you're just knowing you're knowing that you're internally committing to this idea and this desire of who you of who you want to be. All right? I am wealthy. I have plenty of money. I am beautiful. I know who I am. I am confident. I am willing. I don't know. I take inspired actions. Just whatever you desire. Your battles are with yourself but the the lord says them um, the battle is mine says the lord right what battle just the battle inside you know the battle of um making the outer world conform it is the lord's our job is to commit to what we want and to know what we want and knowing what you want can take boldness because especially if your whole life you've been told that you can't get what you want or that you're not good enough or you're that you're not smart and you're not intelligent like you've been told all this shit that is basically opposite from who you are so that just takes a little bit of renewing of the mind renew your mind the battle is the lord's you just know what you want get to know yourself get to know myself i'm preaching to myself too i'm preaching to my choir get to know myself get to know who i am get to know what i want and commit to what i want say that I have it believe that I already have it and I shall have it period period the battle is the Lord's we don't worry about the outside we don't worry about how it's going to come to pass like every manifestation freaking and prayer coach preaches it's the same thing we, I, <laughs> we all say the same thing but um we have to keep saying it right because faith comes by hearing hearing by the word of God so let the Lord handle the outside let the Lord God within you handle the bridges of incidences they will form they will construct period just all you got to do is be committed to your desire and that commitment and those and that persistence will move the motherfucking mountain